acts like that from our label, AC and Kenny the Bump, none of it really happened in America. So the Quattro's only hit in America actually was um, Stumble in In, which was so not her. I mean, she was such a rocker. Um, but it was with Chris Norman from Smokey. I call Smirky because Chris Norman got got all the breaks. He didn't realize how, how much how much he got. But anyway, um, Susie and I have been emailing lately. We call Joan Jett Rackenstein because she took my song, I Love Rock and Roll, and Susie's image combined them and made herself a huge star, which is brilliant. And Joan's a genius in that sense. It's great. And this is the Arrows hit in 1974 called Touch Too Much. And um, this was number six in England. For 12 weeks, it was in the top 30, I think, yeah. So here we go, Touch Too Much. I just did this in England. And remember when I do the talking part that I was 21 years old and I looked 12. And <laughs> it, does, it doesn't really work now that I'm the age. Okay, touch too much. <laughs>
Jackie. I just wanted to know what, what her involvement was. And Jackie said, well, I pulled her out of the bathroom and she watched and she said, holy shit, we got to do this song. And Jackie Fox and Joan Jett wanted to do the song with the Runaways. Contrary to rumors that Jackie Fox didn't want it. Actually, Jackie saw the song first. If Jackie hadn't pulled Joan out of the bathroom, Joan might have had a very different career. <clears throat> but she didn't. Joan and Jackie pulled her out of the bathroom and she saw me. And according to Jackie Fox, Joan got three copies sent to her to L.A. Two were broken, but she was so determined to get an intact copy that the third one was intact. And she, she got a copy and then she got in touch with two of the Sex Pistols who recorded the song with her on Vertigo Records. It was only released in Europe and it wasn't a hit. And she had the fortitude to keep going with the song. And God bless her for, for that. And um, so she did um, a great version with a huge corporate backing by Neil Bogart, which the song should have always had from Mickey Most, excuse me, Mickey, but I love you, Mickey, but wherever you are, but you didn't get it on that one. You got usually you knew the hits, but I guess you know what I'm going to play next. <laughs> it's called "I Love Rock and Roll," a song I wrote, and I was the first person on earth to sing it anywhere because I wrote it, and somebody had to sing it first, so it was me. And it's uh, this is it. I just sounded on acoustic guitar when I wrote it. I saw her dancing there by the regular machine I knew she must have been about 17 The beat was going strong Playing my favorite song And I could tell that it won't be long To she was with her And I could tell that it won't be long To she was with me